Do you know that you can actually raise 1,000 beds and still have 1,000 till maturity? That is 100% survival. At the same time, you can also have over 1.5 kg of slaughtered weight in less than 6 weeks in broilers, irrespective of the quantity stocked. You can actually achieve far more than these figures I just gave. I'm also going to explain how you can make more profit in broiler farming. All these and many more I will unveil in the course of this video. Ensure to watch till the end. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf. You can also follow me on my Facebook page at Life of a Farmer Loaf for regular updates. I remain your anchor Ishokri of Okeroye. You can call me Ovarans. On this channel, we discuss farming in details, how to grow your farm, challenges faced by farmers and how to control them. So ensure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you don't miss important videos like this one. Give this video a like, comment and most importantly, share for others to benefit. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Raising broilers is very profitable if you are able to cross all your T's and dot all your I's. Raising small broiler of 50, 100 or 200 is as simple as ABC. It gets challenging when you increase your production capacity to four digits. One thing I must tell you is that the greater your stock, the greater your challenges. This simply means that the challenges farmer A raising 300 beds will be quite different from the challenges farmer B will face in raising 1000 beds. Your ability to navigate to yield useful results and make reasonable profit is what makes you a real farmer. The first thing I did in raising 1000 brillas was to secure the market for them. Not just one market, but about two to five different ways I could sell them. The first market was to supply to cold room and this is usually after slaughtering and dressing. The second market was to sell to off takers. These are another set of market that will come and buy them in life weight. The third market was to sell to a bookie. These people usually also come and buy them in life weight too, but their pattern is quite different from the so-called off takers. They normally dress them as roasted or fried chicken and the fourth market was to sell to the market women. After this was done, the second stage was to set my target. That is, I make sure I know the targeted weight I want to achieve in six weeks. That weight, which is my target, must be acceptable by all in case if one fails to buy the beds. The third stage was availability of feed and medication. I already knew the quantity of feed I will use to feed the 1000 brillas for 6 weeks and maximum of 7 weeks along with the needed medication. In fact, all the feed was made available before the arrival of the birds, so feed was never an issue. In fact, it even saves me a whole lot because after purchasing the feed that they will consume for the whole of the raising period of that 6 weeks, the price was increased 8 times. They were increasing the feed weekly and sometimes twice in a week. By the end of 6 weeks of selling the beds, over 4000 naira was added to the feed. But this didn't affect me because I already have feed on ground. This is a very smart move to make more profit in broiler production by buying your feed in bulk and keeping them. That means you have to know the quantity of feed they will consume for the whole period. The fourth stage is booking of beds. Before I booked the beds, I was very calculative. As a broiler farmer, you should be able to predict when the prices of day old chicks will rise or when it will drop. I used this to my advantage and I made the booking of beds when the price dropped. This is another way you can make more profit in Brilla farming. In fact, immediately after collecting my bags, the next week the price was increased. The fifth stage is preparation before the arrival of the beds. I won't say much 
here because I already made a video about this which I will drop the link in the description box and also at the top right corner of your screen. This is very important and you shouldn't joke with it. Make sure to watch it after watching this video. That being said, the sixth stage is management. This is one very important area. The truth is your management aspect will contribute to your or profit positively or negatively. You have to sacrifice your time to be present most especially the first 7 to 14 days of the birds. This stage will determine their growth or weight gain in their later life and also their immunity level in order to resist diseases. For the first 7 to 14 days, 4 things you must not joke with are temperature, electrolyte or antioxidant, light, feed and water. I did not to dwell in details as I will drop a link to all you need to know about them in the description box and also at the top right corner of your screen. The first drink I gave them was not glucose but a DIY electrolyte and antioxidant. I made it myself. This drink gave them far more than what the glucose will do to them health wise. You can check the description box on how to make it. After that drink, I gave them plain water and the next day they were placed on antibiotics and vitamin for 5 days. During this period, I was also mixing their feed with my organic component that will aid better feed conversion ratio and digestibility. I also make sure I use very good drugs and before I go further, biosecurity was paramount. During this period, the good thing is that once you adhere to biosecurity measures, your best will have less disease outbreak and better immunity. Please and please, if you are getting any vital information from this video, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on future upload. Give this video a like, comment and also share across all social media platforms for others to benefit. Just do this to encourage me to do more. Thanks for doing it. Let me tell you how I was able to have less than 2% mortality. Like I said earlier, we bought 1,000 day old brella chicks and by the end of 6 weeks, we'll still have 1,000 complete. Ideally, you are not supposed to have more than 5% mortality and anything above this is lost already. Of the 1,000 brellas, like I said in my previous videos, 500 were slaughtered, dressed and sent to the cold room. On that same day of slaughtering, the beds at 5 weeks and 6 days old, 100 brillas were also sold in live weight, making a total of 600 sold, which is over 50%. To reduce mortality, observation and frequent visitation to the brooder house at interval of every 1 hour 30 minutes for the first 24 hours. In fact, I was spending almost an hour inside the brooder house such that my whole body will get drenched with sweat. If you get healthy beds, most mortality is as a result of few weaker ones that stumble over and are unable to stand up. Other smarter ones will run over them and before you know it, they will die and you will be wondering that your bears are healthy but they are dying. This is one major cause of early mortality during brooding. But when you frequent and spend time in the brooder house, especially the first 24 to 48 hours, you will be able to pick up those ones that are unable to stand up. During the first 24 hours, we had two mortalities, especially over the night. That was when I decided to sleep on the farm during brooding. The first seven days, we had a total of three mortalities. By the end of 14 days, we had five mortalities in total. In the fourth week, we had one mortality and the fifth week, we had three mortalities. The total mortality during the fourth and fifth week was due to heat stress and in total, we had nine mortality. So, out of 1,018 broilers, we lost nine beds from zero to six weeks which is less than 
we were supposed to be left with 1,009 beds, but I was surprised to have 1,003 beds. Six beds were unaccounted for. I don't know what happened to those six beds. Their mortality was not seen. When the first 100 boilers were sold live, I have to compare the price with what the cold room are paying. And I noticed huge difference in profit margin. It was at this point I changed my mind. If not that the 500 boilers have been slaughtered, I would have given the cold room say about 200 to 300 boilers. From my calculation, after selling the remaining 400 by hand in live weight, making a total of 500 to cold room and 500 sold in live weight, the profit made in live weight was far more than that sold in slaughtered weight. Though there are some instances whereby the cold room is better than um, than the slaughtered than the life weight but that will be a video which i will make for another day on how i was able to achieve this weight is that i make sure there is steady feed and water i was also using organic component to mix their feed i have talked about them in some of my videos then another practice i use was to try as much as possible to reduce their feed during the hot afternoon and giving them enough feed at night along with bright light. I still have one more bonus point for you that is very important. But first, know that if you follow all that I have said, you are more likely to exceed my brella weight. I have a playlist of how you can raise your brellas from day one to six weeks which I uploaded daily. You can use the end screen by the end of this video to watch it. The last and the most important point is to subscribe, like, comment and share. Thanks and God bless. See you in my next video. Peace out.